To the Euro Tunnel. Yep. What a drive that was. Five and a half hours later. Oh man. Plenty of traffic. It Plenty. Crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, well, it wasn't the best of drives, but we've actually made it. Uh, albeit 20 minutes late for the train. Yeah, we missed our 20 train. Minutes. We missed our train. We got a bit worried, but we've been allowed onto like two trains after it. So. Yeah. So. Um. <coughs> we've got um, 16 minutes. 16 minutes yeah. till we get uh, till we start to board, so at least we're here. Um, so hopefully in about an hour, just over an hour, we should be in France. So we 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 we. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. What you say? Whoa, woman, oh woman, oh, think you're so mean. Could have been it, oh woman, that I've ever seen. I guess. So, we have sort of arrived, but well, not really arrived. We were going to wing it out in a find a little canal somewhere, to do a quick night before we get to the venue that we're booked on. But we can't be asked. It's been a, what, it's been a gruesome journey, hasn't it? It's far too dark anyway. I think we should, we should Traffic struggle. as well. The traffic's killed it. Yeah, it should have yeah. been a four-hour drive straight there. It took us like six. Uh, and yeah, it's just been killing me. Yeah. Getting late, yeah. innit? Yeah, so we've only done, two hours left. We've done, we've done two hours done this side of the uh, tunnel. So we're just gonna just gonna kick there, I think. Just there. Uh, yeah, the no. grass, or, yeah. or the grass there, maybe. I could get the grass on there. So we'll see what food they've got to offer in there. And uh, yeah, try and get a few hours kicked and set off in the morning. Morning, Kieran. Morning. How was your sleep, lad? Not very good. Why not? Just got my sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been better. So, uh, a bit of breakfast, back on the road, to the lake. We have arrived. Looks smaller than I thought. Five to six acres. Yeah. First impressions? Really Looking it. good. good it? Looking good. Already seen a fish? Oh god mate, yeah. There's bag for fish there, mate. Double there. Just having a lap now, not been here long, just been to the supermarket, so now we're going to have a look around, see what we're seeing from the other bank, just drawing our pegs as well, uh, I'm on the left hand side, can see into the bays and stuff like that, see what you're saying, see what the margins are like. That's the opposite bank. Evening update. Not much to talk about, is there? No, not really. No. Um, it has been a long day, about half twelve. 
So I literally just got my rods in about half an hour ago. We got Pretty, ours in about yeah. two or three hours ago. Lowe's only just got his last day. It's nice just to chill out and have so. a bit of a bite to eat and then uh, maybe yeah. get some sleep. Semi, semi early night, crack yeah. on with it tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Tomorrow's the main day, isn't it? Full yeah. day of it. Full, full day of fishing tomorrow. I found, I found my spots, that's why I'm so late getting my rods in because it's, I spent a long time finding my spots and that. So tomorrow's the day when it's the sun's out, get back in the boat, put my rigs out properly, and then we're hopefully you know, fish. But tonight, get some rest and then start again fresh tomorrow. tomorrow. Exactly. Yeah. Come back nice, won't it? Gets it right inside there with that uh, Mate, I'll tell you what. This was just been a carp only lake for however however many years. But last week uh, the owner introduced two sturgeon. Or three sturgeon? Yeah, an 80 pound, a 90 pound, and a 150 pound beluga uh, yeah, sturgeon. Yeah, 80, 90, and 150 pound, and also a 200 pound catfish to try and combat the craze. Oh, what is that? That's, that's a sturgeon, that. Yo, shit. Mate, oh my god. Look at that, mate, what is that? Oh my god. Like that's prehistoric, that. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be all night doing this, you know. We've got time, pal. I know, I know, I know, but I'm saying. I'm not complaining, Enjoy but. Enjoy it, you deserve it. I'm not complaining, but. <laughs> what is that? Go and get the big sling. Oh, mate. <laughs> How do you feel with that, mate? Oi. Mate, I don't know what to do with it. And... <laughs> right, first of all, fish safety, yeah. Let's go and get some mats together. Yeah, yeah. Let's um, oh, uh, come out, thank come God. Out. Oh, my God, thank God, yeah. Check that mouth, mate. What's it hooked on? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, it went for me! that, mate? Why? <laughs> Beast, mate. How's it feel? Absolutely buzzing, mate. It weighs an absolute ton. I'm guessing this is a 70 pounder. It's hard to say, I won't know because it's so dense in it as well. Yeah. But, it's like oh, all muscle, innit? It's came out of absolutely nowhere. Absolute one ton in the middle of the night. It's recently been introduced to the lake to combat the craze, and then obviously I've had it so over the moon. We'll get What's some quick it? pictures now, yeah, and get her back. <laughs> Good morning. Um, what a night that was, eh? Can't believe. Low pulled in that sturgeon. What a guy, mate! It was unexpected since the sturgeon had only been put in recently. Three of them, um, yeah, it was absolutely crazy. Uh, great way to start, not a carp, but a good start. So it's Sunday morning now, so it's our first full day. Temperatures are already rocketing. And um, after, a, after a full night, I pulled my rigs in this morning and didn't have any bait on any of my rigs because of the crayfish, even after shrink wrapping them. So I think today's going to be a change of ta tactics, pos possibly plastic up baits. Fish the same margins that I was fishing yesterday because we did see fish when we first got here in some of the margins. So um, maybe a little bit less bait plastic baits on my hooks like I said 
this is what happened last night. So it's going to be difficult, very difficult, I think. Um, but like I said, we're here to uh, have, a, have a good time as well. But, you know, a bit, bit worrying after last night. So yeah, change the tactics this morning and uh, see how we go. So I'm just going to run you through a few of the ingredients to one of the mixes we're making today. Um, for starters, squid and octopus, 15 mil boilies. Brilliant product that, the crush. Ready crushed boilie in a bag, no messing about. This is the krill, krill flavour. So I'm going to put, I'm going to go with two of them. Just some hemp, bog standard hemp, pre prepared. Beat a stim. Cracking liquid this. You don't really want to get it on your hands because it's not the uh, not the nicest of smelling, but don't be shy with that stuff. Salmon oil. Give it all a good stir. And then shortly we'll be going out in the boat and uh, dropping this onto a few clear patches. There is your finished result. Fish on low, yeah? Yeah. Fish on. Sturgeon. Um... No, I don't think so. This is a jolt, it's head about like, like a cardboard. It doesn't like a weight to it, like a heavy weight sort of thing. Like a dump the car. Yeah. It's over there now, it's over there now. Let's go back this way again. See it over there. That's it. Try to spit it then, I felt it big time. Fifty... Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. New PB cat. New PB cat. So it's about half ten, and my rod, my right rod's just ripped off. I've run straight to it, I struck it, and what do you reckon, how long do you reckon it took that? Twenty minutes? It took a while. Twenty minutes, half an hour. It had me all, all the way across the, the far side of the lake over there, stripping line, and it was shaking its head so. I wasn't, too, I wasn't sure if it was a big carp or what there. I don't, it's hard to say really at the time, but obviously now we know that it was a, a catfish that we didn't even know was in here. There's a big one in here, 220 pounds, but this obviously is a lot smaller. So happy days, but not a carp, so I'll get some pictures and get it back. I just want to get it going out backwards, just sunk away. There it goes. What do you reckon to that catfish then? It's a good one, wasn't it? Well, it's a bit of a surprise. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Considering That's there's only meant to be twice, a huge one in one there. Twice, 220 pounder in there, but... Twice in a day, in 24 hours, where when it was getting dark, yeah. you've had an absolute belting run. I know, yeah, just one melter. Yeah. One tone off. One tone, yeah. just like, ran straight over to the roads in 100 mile an hour. Yeah, we got that one pretty quick, didn't got we? Got it quick, yeah, because I'm furthest away from here, so I have to compared be quick. To the, compared to the one yesterday. Yeah. Played it for a while, I, 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 was, I was convinced it was a carp at first, but then after a while it came a bit... Started I started getting a bit worried, I was like, it. for the moment I was like, is it a sturgeon? 
So other than that, really, it's uh, it's quiet for everyone else. Isn't it? quite, everyone's had a few liners so or something. Beach, yeah, beach liners. Or it's been a few, a few shows, shows haven't there? Yeah. A few shows. Could, could well just be the craze. Yeah. yeah. And they're having us off. Well, though. hopefully, it's, like tonight, we have another one, another run at least, another bit of action. One of these boys. One of you. Nice bit of action down this side. Yeah. Well, plenty of time left, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. It's not bad though. We've done well. Yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> next one's a carp. First, yeah. first full day. Yeah. Two different species on the bank. Yeah. That's what it's all about, isn't it? The variety. You'd love it. The variety is the spice of life. Yeah, you'd love it. Those yeah. spikes were good as well. My arm was killing me. <laughs> he hit the gym. So it's uh, Monday afternoon. Just got back from a trip to the supermarket and there's not much to report on at all other than the usual everything getting demolished by a craze. I didn't reel in three rods today with not a bait left on any of them. There's one pop up on one of them. Was it? Yeah, that was it. But the other two, one of them had cut through his hair. So it's it shrink, was just a sh shrink wrap on the, on the eye of the hook was yeah. all chewed off. Um, My plastics were chewed with plastic corn. Yeah, we're putting like three plastic corn out and the top corn will be gone when you reel it in. Yeah. Um line is just getting a bit chewed. I mean even we're putting bait in on the boat and you can actually see the craze coming in instantly. Yeah, it's crazy. Three, four, crazy. Five. It's crazy man. So it's um a bit worrying at the minute. A hard a big run, which is which felt like another catfish again. And that snapped me off, probably hit me swivel. And then in the middle of the night, I was woken up to an absolute screamer and it was literally just tearing off towards the other side of the lake, um, going twice as fast as any other fish. And, they, and I'll tell you what, the, the, the first sturgeon and the other catfish were going fast and this was going twice as fast. It was probably the big sturgeon, the um, 150 pound sturgeon. And it, that just, like I say, just stripped off me off, went straight to the other side. A little bit of resistance on the line and it, the line just, just cut clean off. I don't know if it got caught in, so in a snag or in, a, in some mussels. When I first started playing the fight, maybe, and it got a bit weakened at some point, I don't, I'm not sure, but that just brought me straight off, which I'm kind, kind of glad about because I was in here shouting everyone and I was asleep. Nobody woke up or anything like that, so I would have been having, having to play that in and put it into the huge sling myself, so a little bit of a blessing there. But at the same time, it would have been nice to see a beluga sturgeon on the bank if it was £150. Now, that, that really is a fish of a lifetime, so obviously it's getting quite annoying, really. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we've made a big decision. We're gonna move lakes. The owner has got he's got a lake here, and then just next to it, he's got a bigger lake, more fish in it. There's more bream and all that sort. Of shit, but there's no crayfish. And the craze on here, they've been uh, this morning, for example, a reel in three rods. Two of them have got no baits left on them, and they were plastic baits. Literally, if you drop a, a rigging in the margin. Within five seconds, there's two or three crays just like this, grabbing, grabbing the bait and just holding it close to yeah, it. Yeah. So we're fully packed up. We've done two runs. We've got one more run to do, and then we're going to uh, assess pegs. So we should have some carp, mate. Yeah. I'm confident Fingers now. Crossed. We'll have some carp for you. Yeah. Hello. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get 
44 on the bottom. 44 on the nose. 44. 44. That was a great start to a new lake, innit? First day on this lake, uh, after making quite a big decision to move because of all the pesty crayfish. Um, I've also been out for a few hours now. Looked pretty dead when we first got here, but then out of nowhere, last hour or so, the place has come alive, hasn't it? There's been boshes left, right, and centre, fish jumping out. <coughs> so hopefully, this will be the first of, of many this evening. <sighs> A French mirror fought like a brute. Honestly, fought bad this, did it? Raspberry Rush doing the business. Slapped me all over the show, didn't it? Told you off a bit. Let's get the rods back out. Let's see if we can have a number two. morning last night after we all got tucked up in bed um, I had an absolute melt off played it in for five minutes was able to get Adam over because I didn't have my head torch and it was about 20 minutes wasn't it the next thing it was in the net but he has been in the retainer for a while so it's probably gonna be full of beans I'm down baby girl right there we are an absolutely beautiful linear Nothing French about it at all, is there? No. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. I'm made up with it, I am. Nothing mid 20? Yeah, it's mid 20, I'd say. Not the biggest. Not the biggest carp. We know there's a lot, a lot of units in here, like the one Ash had. But it's my first fish. Oh, mate, off the mark. There she is. Yes, first carp, first fish of the trip, and three full days of fishing to go. Wednesday, our first full day. Um, we had a pretty productive last night, Tuesday night. I had his late on into the evening. And after going to bed, I had a big run. So it was a great start for this lake. I'm so happy we made the move. Apart from the mosquitoes over here, I've been bit literally about 20 times last night. So I've got one, Ash has got one. Got to get one for Adam, get a cart for low. Hopefully get some big ones as well. with an octopus, a little 12 mil pop up and on top of a, a Krilla 15 mil bomb bait. There we have it, snowman rig.
Nothing much to update really, I suppose. No, um, we're on our second to last full day now. We are running out of time. I had a bit of a run which stopped, and then five minutes after that, Adam hooked a fish, started off with a bit of a slow run, but then took off, and then he, he I think he had the fish on for about five minutes. The only thing I've got to report is that about, I don't know, early morning, it's still dark, uh, I'd run on my middle rod, quite a little slow beeper, so I came out and watched it for a bit, and it kept kept pulling it, and so I was thinking it's a bream. Played it in, realised it was a catfish, about this big, a little baby catfish. Is that a catfish? Yeah, well? a catfish here, that was this big. I didn't know that. Yeah. And um, so I just unhooked it on the on the bank and let it go. So oh, it looked like a full size catfish, but still in baby, baby form. I really want a carp now. Oh, we've got two days. I'll just take one carp. I know. I feel, honestly, I feel really lucky that I caught that fish. Yeah. I, know, I know we weren't the biggest. Had a lot of character, but yeah. we were hoping again it'd be the same as the day before, where the fish were just showing. But yeah. for, it showed for hours yesterday. But the last night was a bit quiet. It was really, really hot and humid, and the yeah, air pressure was around 100, and, what 1,000 and. 25 or something like that, so it was really high pressure, so... <laughs> Fishing slowed down after Kieran's fish. They weren't showing themselves anywhere near as much as they were the first night we got here. Yeah, yesterday it was really quiet, wasn't it? Yeah, hardly it was like totally different. Yeah. The pressure was so high, it was through the roof. It was one of the hottest days we've had. You had a wake up this morning, didn't you? I thought we weren't talking about that. <laughs> yeah, so I had a... I, uh, Rudely awoken this morning by a big bream, big nasty bream. It's covered my net in grease and slime, mate. It was angry, but and I lost one, didn't I? You lost one after, just after about an hour after my bream. Yeah, about half seven this morning. Nice, nice run. It was a weird take. It was like a couple of beeps, and then it went for a little run. Struck into it. About five minutes or so, and it just started veering right off to the right hand side. Put a bit of pressure on it to try and pull it back and it, it cut me off on something Ging. yeah just don't know it's all frayed in yeah. it the, uh, the end of the, the line, line was all frayed, frayed so, so it's it's full of muscles and stuff in there so yeah it's caught it's on stuff, something and just yeah. Thing, it? yeah other than that again it's been pretty quiet hasn't it pretty quiet no. mate yeah no one no one around us is uh is catching either no. i really think late like, evening into early mornings when there's going to be yeah, well, that, the other night that's when it come alive in it yeah, yeah. The whole place came alive yeah. as soon as the sun went down. I'd be surprised if, if anybody catches in the day. Definitely feels a lot cooler today yeah. than it was yesterday. It's not if you go over there, mate, when I walk around that thing. The conditions are so much better today for it. Though, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you have pressure and stuff like that, yeah. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, tonight. Yeah. Tonight's going to be a good chance, I think. Yeah. I'd be surprised if we didn't see a fish tonight. Yeah. Right, now do a dance. <laughs> 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 what the? <laughs> so what is it? What's it called? Cordon Bleu. And you, you're quite um, quite nice. Yeah, you're well up to date with him because you've been here before, and you've had him before. I'm nearly half French, me mate. Yeah, you look it. I've been twice well, now. So it is like. Wee wee. So, so we'll just ignore one. these little bits. Right. Uh, okay. Oof. It's hot. It's very hot. Oh, burn it, burn it, burn it. <coughs> the key is just to put it straight in your mouth and bite it straight away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get that hot cheese out. The yeah. minute he gets it out, it cools it. Yeah. Right, yeah. I'm going to have a bite. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. So if you come to France, what's it called? Cordon Bleu. Cordon Bleu. I'd send that on a, as a bank size snack in a rich monkey. I'd give it an eight. I'll give it an eight.
end of a week's fishing in yeah. France. It's been a, we've had a great time, but yeah. fishing has been tough. Been hard, yeah. been quite disappointing to be fair. Yeah, it's been too hot in it. Yeah. Too hot, too, too humid. Loads of factors against against why we've not caught many fish, but at least you know we've got some fish. Yeah. Low sturgeon being probably the, the prize of the trip. Yeah. Peter was a stars. Um, biggest fish in the trip as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a cat as well. And yeah. So I was say, it seems like it was a month ago that. It does, doesn't yeah. it? Seems like it's yeah. time, doesn't it's it? gone a lot quicker since we moved on this lake, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. I was supposed to the bailiff this morning, he, he told us that there's a swim over in the other corner where a couple of lads were fishing all week. And it's only recently been opened um, because the older fish used to just live over that side. Um, but he, he said that they've not really come out as much yet. He's hoping that, you know, when people start fishing there a lot, they'll start going around the lake. Obviously, he didn't tell us that when we first got here. But we've had a good well, time. I mean, it's been great for social, yeah. hasn't it? Because all the pegs are all alive. Peg, pegs are in alive. Good, we've had yeah. a good laugh. We've had yeah. some good wine, plenty yeah. of decent food. Yeah, plenty of beers. Just like an holiday, really. Yeah, it's holiday mean, with a few fish. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm saying it's been good on it. It's been good, but the fishing yeah. could have been a lot better. Would have loved to just had a, had a carp. But hey, it's fishing now, isn't it? I was yeah. fishing, that's what I'm saying. It's what makes it, that's makes what makes the next, it special. That's makes what I mean. the next trip more. Yeah, every fish, you know. Makes us fish harder than next trip, doesn't it? Makes you appreciate it? every fish, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. It never was, uh, know, it's pulling fish out left, right and centre, no, yeah, you'd, you'd be bored, wouldn't you? Yeah, I wouldn't even fish if that was the case. <coughs> so what is it, 10 o'clock now, so we have to be off. Yeah. We have yeah. to be off now, so we just want to get the Loaded truck packed and then we're off. Bit of Tetris to leave the... Yeah. Tetris, yeah. Bit of Tetris. Leave uh, side. Tetris, Tetris part two. Yeah. yeah. The burger thing on the way, eh? We complete it on the way, here, so we should be alright this yeah. back. We've got less taking back as well, haven't we? Right, we'll see you in the next video, yeah?